Well, welcome to episode 95 of the Flight Sim Historian. For this episode, we're going to be looking at the Northrop F-89 Scorpion. The F-89 was an American all-weather jet interceptor built by Northrop Corporation. It was one of the first jet fighters to be equipped with guided missiles. It was first flown on the 16th of August of 1948 and entered the United States Air Force Service in September of 1950. It was retired in 1969. 1,052 F-89s were produced. Variants of the aircraft included the XF-89, the XF-89A, the F-89A, the DF-89A, the F-89B, DF-89B, F-89C, YF-89D, F-89D, YF-89E, F-89F, YF-89H, F-89H, and F-89J. Scorpions can be found on static display at museums in Georgia, California, Wisconsin, Florida, Arizona, Minnesota, Utah, Connecticut, Ohio, Colorado, Virginia, and Washington. The aircraft is a crew two. It's powered by a pair of Allison J-35 afterburning turbojet engines with power outputs of 7,200 pounds of thrust each. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 635 miles per hour a range of 1,360 miles, and a service ceiling of 49,200 feet. It has an armament of 104 2.75-inch Mighty Mouse uh, folding pin aerial rockets, or the AIM-4 Falcon air-to-air -air missile. So for this video, we're going to be using the uh, Payware Vertavia F-89 Scorpion. Drop flaps one notch for takeoff. is up.
feet, 220 knots.